Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card reading for this evening. So, the title for this reading is going to be, Do They Miss You? Okay, and I wanted to let everyone know that if you enjoy this kind of content, please let me know by giving my video a thumbs up. If you would like to have a more personal reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. And that is also where you find your timestamps and other information of things that are going on in my channel right now. Like, for example, I am having a tarot card giveaway where I'm giving away this this deck of tarot cards for free to, to mostly people who are in the United States. If you are outside of the United States and you really want them, you can pay shipping. But for anyone in the United States, I will be paying for shipping and it'll be completely free. I will be also signing the High Priestess card and I will be doing that at 5,000 subscribers. And I'm only a thousand away right now, so it's not going to be very long. Um... Also, for 10,000 subscribers, I have subscribers. I have free reading raffle, and you can see how to do that in the description as well. All right, so on to the reading. Let's see. Do they miss you? So this is pile one with the heart chakra, pile two with the crown chakra, pile three with the throat chakra. Okay, and I'm going to take away pile two and three, and we're going to see what we got here. And here I'm going to make the timestamp for pile one with with the heart chakra. Let's see what you got, pile one. Do they miss you? So we have the tower. I'm thinking they miss you already. We have the nine of fire. also kind of want to see how maybe how missing you is affecting them and how it may even change some of the decisions they might make or something like that. <clears throat> then we have the messenger of water. Then we have flexible, which is number 19. For those who keep track of synchronicities. And I also have the Knight of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. Alright, let's see what I get from this. Hang on. I'm just I'm trying to get... I know it's going to be annoying. I'm waiting a moment, but... Not only do they miss you, I'm really feeling like if some of you are possibly dating or they think that you might be dating someone, they might be jealous as well. They're, they really... It's like a, a, a... They're having like a call to fall in love with the, with themselves. And with you, I don't know, I'm feeling like that it's like with you. <clears throat> it's like you're, they're trying to call you to them. <clears throat> Let me try to... Elaborate here. I think that there's something that has happened. There, we have this tower here. Something that has happened that's causing them to reevaluate everything. But I'm feeling like it's not that they're reevaluating your relationship as in what happened in your relationship, but more so that they're they're like, wait a minute, do I really want this? Do I really want to do anything to stop this? You know, to stop this from happening. You're like, maybe they thought at first that it was the best decision to 
breakup or whatever happened that caused the separation. And now I feel like they're having, they're having second thoughts. I think that they're realizing perhaps that that's not what they wanted after all. I really feel like they're wanting to come, they're actually wanting to come forward, not even planning it first. They just want to just come forward. Here I am. Oh boy. You might actually hear from them very soon. I really feel like that they're trying to expand, like they're learning relationship wise from this, like they're learning about themselves and they're learning to love themselves. They're learning about a lot about themselves in this situation. Let me go ahead and read this card. Flexibility number 19. This says teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's most important. Let's see, in every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what's it required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? That might be something that might be an issue in your relationship. It's okay to come to a happy compromise you can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. So I'm really feeling like they're thinking about meeting halfway in this situation. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. So I'm really feeling like that they're trying to be more flexible. I feel like maybe um, what has happened here is that um, something has happened and they weren't really compromising. And so you had like a disagreement of some sort and they went off because they wanted you to do what they wanted. But, you know, you couldn't do that, you know. So I am feeling like a compromise is really called for in this situation. And I'm really feeling like this is going to happen. All right, so if you like this kind of reading, please please give my video a thumbs up. If you would like a more private, personal reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. And if you would like to be notified of future reading, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. Also, you'll be notified when I go live as well. All right, well, I'm, that's all I have for pile one. Now I'm going on to pile two. Okay, All right, and here is pile number two with the crown chakra. And that's where I'm going to make a timestamp. And here we go, pile two. Let's see what you got. Let's see, we have the seven of air. I will say this was a little bit, ex like, when I got... Some of the other cards are a little confusing. We have the Six of Earth. Oh, yeah. We have the Ace of Air. Okay, I did get an extra card. We got Serendipity. The number 18. And I have the Ace of Wands, but we also have the Hierophant, okay, and when I clarify the Hierophant, I got the Sun. Okay, so does this person miss you? They're trying not to miss you. Are they succeeding? I don't think they're completely succeeding, no. I don't think they're succeeding because... I think that um, 
what's going on is they're getting a lot of synchronicity that keeps reminding you them of you and it keeps kind of pulling them right back. some kind of unexpected things of showing up and I think it's the synchronicity. I'm really feeling like they're they're feeling like there's like destiny basically like destiny or fate is calling the law of karma. And like transformation and synchron I'm getting synchronicity here and the synchronicity is here. So I'm seeing that they're getting a lot of synchronicity. So here I am with this card is showing me, this is the card that's telling me that I really feel like they're trying to not miss you, but it's just not happening. So when I first got these ears, these cards, I'm like, eh, I don't think they're missing them. And then, and then, um, and then as I pull the other cards, I'm like, ew, I see. This is why I, it's always good to pull more than two or three cards and for readings because you're not really going to get the full picture otherwise, in my opinion. That's why I always pull so many cards. Because otherwise you're only getting like a tiny bit of the story. You're not getting really enough of the story. So we have Ace of Air. I feel like some like they're getting some some ideas they're they're thinking of they're it's like in their brain the wheels are turning and they're starting to get ideas of things that possibly they could do they're starting to be inspired I feel like they're being inspired by the synchronicities I'm gonna read this serendipity card number 18 Let's see, it says this card is about opportunity allied with readiness and awareness of synchronicity. Luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols, a magical alignment of events. So spirit has a plan, and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. So this is what's going to happen with you, with them. Like when it says you, spirit has a plan, and that plan is for you. I'm feeling like it's talking about them. Okay, just so you know. You have met or are about to meet some meet someone right, vitally important to your journey. Someone spirit wants to bring into your life. So I'm feeling like they're, they're feeling this way about you. Like they feel like spirit has brought this per, brought you into their life. Only divine forces can plan this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. So this is what I'm getting. So... They, they do they miss you yeah they miss you and they try not to miss you but they miss you anyways and with the hair fan i'm really feeling like this is them either i feel like this is this is them thinking that god or spirit or however you think of things is trying to bring you together and this is like and this and this and spirit is making it clear to them 
I'm getting this. And then also, this is the, when you get this card as an outcome card, it is also a yes. So not only am I feel like they're getting clarity through spirit, that this is also a yes. Yes, they do miss you. All right. Well, if you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. If you would like a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. If you would like to subscribe so you can be notified of future readings, you can also hit the bell notification after you subscribe. And then you'll also be notified when I go live. All right. Well, I'm done with pile two and now I'm going on to pile three. I hope you like your reading pile two. That was a surprise. Like, ooh, I thought that was going to go worse than it was, but that was a happy surprise, just like it said in the reading would be. All right, and here is pile three. And here we have pile three with a throat chakra. And let's see what you have pile three. Let's see if they miss you. <sighs> We have the Ace of Water. I'm seeing love. We have the Page of Air. And we have the Eight of Water. They're trying to walk away. But guess what? It's reluctant because they miss you. Like, if they were, if it was like the, <clears throat> if it was like Swords or something and they're moving away, what is it? Uh, six of swords and they're moving away then they'd be like uh, moving away from this crap but no this is like them going uh, do I really want to go I don't know if I want to go you know they're not sure because their heart is all mixed up in it all right and then I got this card which is number 20 imagine and then I have number uh, I have the three of cups I got used to calling these numbers Three of Cups. And I have the Nine of Wands. Alright. So I'm just going to say, I have to say this, and I thought this was cute, that not only do they miss you, um, I feel like some of them, there might not be, this might not be romantic, or or it's this is about your friend. Okay, so if this is just about your friend, and you're, and you're only friends, then just like take those parts of this, vid of this video. Why is it blurry there? Take those parts of this video okay but there is going to be some romantic aspects for some people and just remember that 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 probably isn't apply to you if you're just inquiring about your friend however this person friend or not they love you and it, it actually it was overflowing their heart is overflowing with love for you and yes they miss you I see page Hang on one second. They're very curious about you. They're very curious. And this right here is telling me that they are spying on you on social media. Okay. Now, this could also be someone that you are involved with who might be like friend zoned or they, you friend zone them, but, and they might be romantically attracted to you. That could be also something or yeah, something like that where you're actually friends, but it could be romantic as well. But either way, they're curious about you. And, and they love you and they at least love you as a friend, but they are spying on you on social media. This is them. I feel like they're spying here and they're spying here. They're reluctantly moving away. They're not really wanting to move away. They miss you and they love you. So let's see what this card's all about. Cause I actually have not read this card before. I don't think so. Not that I can recall. Maybe if I, if I did once before, but I'm not feeling I did. I usually remember. Imagine. In matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, 
You need to go to go for it, not just dream about it. Now's the time to move beyond ooh, they're thinking they're like daydreaming about how they're going to approach you. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality. Ooh, they're going to do that. Move beyond move beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating. So step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. So this person is like having like, like they're having, like they're finally kind of waking up to who you really are to them. And they're like, wait a minute. I feel like that they're they're like they didn't realize some things about you, and they're starting to realize them. Yeah, and they're thinking about coming forward. So you can probably. I feel like this would be probably pretty soon after you get this, at least within two weeks, at least if not sooner. You might even get, so you might even get a message while I'm telling you this reading. Who knows? But it's, 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 I would be surprised if they didn't come forward. Okay. So that's all I have for pile three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this, if you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. You'll also be noticed when I, you're notified when I do live streams. And also, if you would like a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you have a great evening or day or whatever time it is when you watch this. God bless.